hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this look right here that i have on right now um this is a beginner eyeshadow tutorial and i really hope i explained really good how to do this eyeshadow um it's really really simple um but as you can see it just makes a whole look really really good i look like a bad bitch you know you can look like a bad bitch too just using three colors yeah girl three colors to create this whole look so if you're interested in how to learn how to do eyeshadow make sure to go ahead and keep on watching all right you guys let's go ahead and get started if you have not yet first if you have not yet watched my um eyeshadow brushes for beginners you should go ahead and watch that because those are the brushes that i am going to be using today so for any questions i will have like right here the brushes like the name of the brush so you can know exactly what brush i am using and yeah so let's just get started okay so i already have my base on and everything and right now i have nothing on my eyes it's a clean surface so first is your eyebrows i know this is not an um I know this is not eyeshadow, but since you do have to go ahead and place your base on your eyelids, you want to make sure you carve out your eyebrows already at once. So therefore, you don't have to go back in with the same base and clean up your eyebrows afterwards. So I have not yet done my eyebrows, but I am going to go ahead and do that. And now the base that you should be taking to place eyeshadow on your eyelids, you should be taking, I personally love P. Louise, um... P. Louise eyeshadow base and the shade Rumor 1. That's the one I use on my eyelid. And I also, you can go ahead and use the same concealer. You always want to make sure you use basically the same shade as your concealer because you don't want to use a lighter shade like me. I was using a lighter shade because it would make my eyeshadows pop. But the reason why I don't use a lighter shade because it is noticeable once you have foundation and say you have a white base, you can see the difference of right here, like, you know, the difference of color. And that honestly does not look really satisfying at all to the eye. So therefore, you always want to make sure you can go a shade a little bit lighter, but you always want to make sure you use basically the same um, color close to your foundation or just a tiny bit lighter, which is your concealer color. So therefore, you can go ahead. I the reason I like P. Louise is because it's a little bit way more tack, it's a little bit way more tackier than the actual concealer. So that's why I go in with this one. But it does tend to sometimes change the eyeshadow color, which concealer it does not tend to change the eyeshadow colors. So that's the one thing you have to keep in mind. But they're basically, you know, concealers are basically kind of the same thing as P. Louise. They're, like I said, these are just a little bit better to hold the eyeshadow. So let me go ahead and do my eyebrows and put on my base and we'll get right into the eyeshadow. All right, I already have my eyeshadow base on. I know it looks super duper white. Um, I am wearing a little darker foundation because I currently went to the beach and I got a tan. Look, as y'all can see, look, and then I was scratching during the summer during the summer during when i was outside and yeah like i left me like a scar or whatever so keep that in mind it matches it's just it looks really white because like i said this is how basically you'd be looking when you wear a too light of a color of concealer or you know whatever but ignore that you know ignore that it's just this is what i have right now i don't have any darker one so I really need to go buy one. Kind of defeats the purpose of this tutorial, huh? Okay, so the brush I took to put on my base is the AOA E131. This is my flat brush that I really, really love to place the base and also to carve out my bra, to carve out my brows and to also cut the crease. So I'm gonna be taking this KKW um, Times Mario palette. I really love this palette for basically the eyeshadow look that we're going to be going with we're going to be using these shades right here we're going to be going in with this one right here and these two right here so these are the shade these are the three shades we're going to be going with just three shades to create the look 
Also, I forgot to mention, please do not set your base. Your base has to be tacky, so therefore the eyeshadow can stick on your base and it will not move in place. So keep in mind, so when you place your eyeshadow, it will not move. It will not move. Why? Because it is tacky first. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and place the eyeshadow where you want it to be. And after you place it where you want it to be, you can go ahead and start blending. So... First shade I am going to go with. Keep in mind, this is how I do my makeup and this is how I prefer to go in with because it's way easier. So I am going to go in with this dark brown shade first. We're going to take this dark brown shade first and I am just going to place it right here towards the outer corner of my eyelid. As you can see, I am packing on the eyeshadow I am not blending, I'm not swiping or anything. So I just want to make sure and pack this eyeshadow exactly where I want. Don't worry if you get out of place or anything. But this is where I want this eyeshadow and this is where I am going to be packing it on. Okay, so... Basically, this is going to be a super soft look. I want the color towards the end versus the inner corner. And by the way, we are using the brush E132. This one is perfect for packing. And now I am going to be taking the E130 brush and we are going to be taking this little light brown shade right here. Now, since we packed the eyeshadow exactly where I want it to be, now we're going to be taking this eyeshadow from right here on top basically right here on top of the eyeshadow the really outside corner of it placing this light eyeshadow right here and just blending it blending this in right here just like this as you can see right here literally just doing the same thing basically you did and applying it on top the reason you're applying it on top is because this lighter eyeshadow will diffuse the dark brown eyeshadow. As you can see, it literally diffused it. So therefore, we will have to go back with the dark brown with the same E132 brush and just place the same dark brown right to where you had it to begin with. And that just brings back the color. So now you can just go back and forth and get the pigmentation that you want and keep remember just keep the lighter shade on top. The reason it goes on top is because you can blow it out on your eye. As you can see you can bring the eyeshadow brush all the way out and with no pigmentation we only went in the we, will, we only went in with the pan once. So therefore I have not added back any 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 um product and this is what is helping me blend this is literally circular motion all right this is packing motion packing this is what we started off with packing motion and now to blend you circular mo circular motion circular motion all right so let me just show you guys with my hand i feel like it might be a little bit easier for some people so first, we want to go ahead and pack on the color, place it where we want it to, correct? And now, and now taking, taking that lighter shade, I did go in the pan just once. Literally, if you're, say this is the bottom of the eye and this is the top, you are going on the top, literally blending out the top. Circular motions right here on the top of the eyeshadow. This is my outer corner, so we're going to be pushing this in. The reason we are pushing is this in is because we don't really kind of want to bring out the eyeshadow that far out your eyes. So this is why we will be bringing a, this is why we will be bringing in the eyeshadow towards the eye. If you get what I'm saying, I don't know if you get it. Hopefully, I'm explaining everything correctly. But as you can see, this has this fused that dark brown to where. With the same eyeshadow brush, you can go ahead and blend literally all the way here to the top. And it will not look crazy. It's just You just keep on diffusing the product right there. And like I said, you want to go back and make it darker right here. You literally blend with the same dark eyeshadow brush. You can literally blend 
these two colors together and that's what will help your eyeshadow look really really good the reason i like to start off with the darker color is because you start off with the dark base and you don't lose that much that much pigmentation versus if i were to add a light color let me just go ahead and show you guys on my hand if i were to add a light color right here right let me just pack it on because it's really light i want you guys to see it we are adding that right so now we're going to go in with dark color the dark color won't be showing up as pigmented and it will be blending out you guys see that right y'all see how this one is way darker than this side that's why because you ended up going with the transition shade which yeah it's lighter it helps you blend but therefore you blended out the dark color that you wanted on your eye and if you wanted it dark this is how dark it's supposed to be looking let me just because i didn't have any i didn't go back in let me just pack it on right here this is how dark it's supposed to be looking versus this one right here it's already lightened up as you can see the difference look at this versus right here you get me and that is why i always start off with the dark colors and go in towards the end with the lighter colors so i really hope that explained a lot why I start off with dark, why I start off with the tacky base because it holds the color in place and why, you know, you go in with a lighter base on top to help you blend and diffuse the colors together. If you get what I'm saying, I hope I'm making this really, really easy on you guys because I know eyeshadow is really, really hard. So hopefully I am not, you know, sounding crazy or anything. So basically, this is how, you know, the eyeshadow look I want it to look, but not fully because I still want to go back and deepen it up. So I am just going to go back and deepen this up and also, you know, back and forth blending with the color to get it to where I want it to be. And then we will stop and then we will go on with our other color. Also, little tip, if you feel like your eyeshadow is not like moving in a certain place where you want it to be, you can go ahead and take another fluffy brush which is this is the same brush this is e130 the same brush i was using this light brown the only reason is it's in pink and i am going to go in with that dark brown shade if you still feel like it's not blending correctly if you don't if you can't blend the eyeshadows together you always want to make sure you take a fluffy brush and just make sure you blend it don't try to bring it that high because that will make your eyeshadow look a little muddy if you get what I'm saying so right here I feel like I needed it to blend it better because the eyeshadow I because this eyeshadow brush that I was going in with it is a little too small for my liking to blend everything together and I don't want to mix you know the dark shade with this one because then I won't be able to go back in with the lighter shade to blend everything out but as you can see, this is basically the eyeshadow that I have going on so far. I am going to bring it down a little bit because I want it to kind of go towards my nose area to accentuate my, my face. Basically give my face a little contour type of look if you kind of get what I'm saying. All right, so now that we have that going on, I am going to go in with this lighter shade right here. The names are in the back, but... I kind of don't really, you know. So taking this flat brush, this is the E129 brush. And I am just going to be packing this on my eye. Because this eyeshadow is really, really pigmented as you can see. And I am just going to be applying this in the beginning of my eye. Basically kind of where my eye socket goes in. This is where I want to place... My eyeshadow, you really don't have to be that precise with it because it is a really light shade. So therefore, this will erase anything, as you can see right here, anything that you don't want. Basically, it will lighten it up. Lighten it up. You literally just apply it right here in the beginning of the eye. And basically, you have right here a whole look. Um, what I do recommend, basically, you can leave it here, but I definitely recommend blending towards the end. So going in with the fluffy brush and 
taking in that same color um this is the e130 brush and i am just going to be bringing in my dark shade just a tiny bit right here re-adding color and since i want it to kind of look like an ombre type of look i am going to be going in with the same brown shade the same e130 brush and we are going to be blending this right here bringing the eyeshadow color towards the inside of the eye as you can see can you like can you guys like tell right here it's like bringing it in and out just trying to blend together these colors right there you can go ahead and tell i have it right here a little bit as you guys right there can see All right, so now a little trick that I have for you guys to erase any eyeshadow that you don't want. Um, I am perfectly satisfied with my eye look. I'm just gonna be adding a little bit more, making sure, like I said, you always wanna go back and add eyeshadow to where you want it, where you feel like you erased a little bit too much or like you added a little too much, you can go ahead and try to erase. So now for right here on the brow bone, we can go ahead and add the same light color right here. I'm just going to add that right here. What this literally does, this can literally erase any eyeshadow that you don't want. Going in with the light shade, as you can see, that brought down a lot of my color. But I do enjoy my color going a little bit towards more my brow as right here. But the thing that that eyeshadow does is just going in with the lighter eyeshadow, it will erase a lot of the color. And just making sure I go back in with that dark brown because keep in mind, the only thing I'd be doing with these eyeshadow brushes is just go back with the same color but nothing added on the the brush because that helps blend a lot like it helps blend a lot a lot just not having any color because it just basically instead of adding more pigmentation it just helps you like remove or like blend everything together i don't know if i'm explaining myself correctly i hope i am so you guys can understand me this is how we definitely got this eye right here i am going to do my other eye off camera and i will come back to you guys with the final result with freaking lashes i am going to put on eyeliner maybe another video i will show you guys how to apply eyeliner but not in this one this one is just for eyeshadow um we can go ahead and do the lower lash before i get you know too excited and everything so for the lower lash i definitely do recommend having a flat brush and a little more flat brush these brushes are from morphe this one sadly it does not have a number but you can try to go ahead and look for this one this is the m213 and going in with this really really small brush and i am just going to be taking it underneath in my lower lash deepening up my my lower lash just you always want to go in with the same colors you took on top just so you can make your eye match you can definitely go with a different crazy color if you'd like but definitely do try going on the lower lash you always want to try and go ahead with darker colors um it's just to deepen up your eye you definitely don't want to go in with something lighter than what you have on your eye it will look kind of crazy um but whatever suits you so yeah i am just gonna be deepening deepening up right here and going in with this other bigger fat bigger flat brush and i am just gonna be using this one just to blend out the outer edge right here of where i applied that dark eyeshadow this just helps accentuate your eye way better in my opinion so definitely do not when you do eyeshadow try not to skip this step because look how 
more beautiful and put together the eye looks when you go ahead and take color underneath your lower lash this is something i would sometimes not do i honestly would go with like a crazy color on the top of my eye and leave the bottom um open and it just kind of like it was missing something mainly because my lashes are so small so that's something you want to go ahead and keep in mind so yeah you can definitely go ahead and go with some highlight to highlight the inner corner of your eyebrow this will accentuate your eye even more that's the whole point of adding highlight to your brow bone but the idea of having your brow bone right here also nice and white is just to keep on accentuating your eyebrow all right you guys so i'm just gonna do my my other eye like i said and i will be right back all right you guys so this is with eyeliner and mascara on i just wanted to show you guys how the eyeshadow looks only with mascara and eyeliner it literally makes a whole difference um i was debating if i wanted to blend in the eyeliner with the eyeshadow but that is a whole different type of look um so yeah you guys this is what it looks just with eyelashes like regular eyelashes and eyeliner i will put on my falsies right now so you guys can see if you're a type of girl that likes to wear falsies then i will definitely definitely show you guys how it looks but this look just by itself it looks really really good you don't even have to put on lashes because girl i look good i look good and it's only three eyeshadows to do the look literally just three eyeshadows so let me just put on the lashes real quick again and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like with lashes so my eyelashes are still drying up a bit but i put on this like brown tank top you know to match my whole look and i really really love it so this is what the eyelashes make it look it looks so like i look like a bad bitch with eyelashes you know it's just eyelashes just makes the whole look um i do have a video where I teach you guys how to put on eyelashes but it's really outdated you can go ahead and check it out but I am gonna be coming up coming out with the new one so you can go ahead and check out the old one right now right here down below in my description box and now I just want to go over the things that I taught you guys because I do want to make sure you understood everything um first off you want to start off with um you want to start off with a clean base. You want to make sure you don't have anything on your eyelids. And then you want to go ahead and prime your eyelids with a concealer or with the P. Louise base, which is a like is specifically to like, you know, an eyeshadow primer, basically. And uh, you can go ahead and also do eyeshadow primers. Um, you can go ahead and try those out. I have tried out Urban Decay and Dolorac um eyeshadow primer. I honestly don't like them. I feel they're a little too drying to the eye. But you can go ahead and figure out things, what works best for you, because everybody's different. So I definitely do recommend go ahead and branch out and figure out what's, you know, best for your eyeshadow and everything. And then you want to make sure you don't set the eyeshadow, I mean, the eyeshadow base. Basically, you don't set your concealer, don't set the, the P. Lu don't set the P. Louise base and you want to go ahead and start off primary color which is your basically your first base your primary color will be your first base and after you go ahead and add your primary color that you want to create a uh, any type of look that you want you always going to want to make sure your primary color is the darkest color and then you want to go ahead with your transition shade then you want to go ahead with your transition shade. I don't know why my mouth is not being able to say it. But you want to go ahead with your transition shade. Bruh. All right. Transition shade. <laughs> it's just right there. It will get stuck. You want to go ahead to blend everything out. And after you have that, you want to go in with your shimmer color. Any base color that you want to go in with your eyes. So therefore, that's basically how you do the whole eyeshadow. You can go ahead and highlight your brow bone. You can go ahead add eyeliner, mascara, anything you want. Don't forget you do your lower lashes. It's whatever you like. I definitely do recommend do your lower lashes. Kind of the basics. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, make sure if you have not watched my beginner's eyeshadow brushes, it'll be linked down below. Also, um, just everything you need to know, link down below. I really hope this helped you guys a lot if you do not know how to like start off or anything. So I really hope this helped you guys a lot. Make sure to let me know, comment down below if this helped by any chance. 
and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye